Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay out late. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Oh, I'm so tired. No. Ordered breakfast on Friday. Thank you, Maria, for being so kind and treating us. <gasps> oh my goodness. Jamesy, this is your Nutella strawberry waffle. Okay, I got some sort of like Cajun, like breaded steak. <gasps> oh my gosh. Biscuit sandwich there's a tortilla in there oh no that's not a tortilla that's an egg what in the world and holy smokes peter's skillet is so heavy it's got corned beef balsamic onions and delicious this is from honey bear cafe in rogers park wow it's a big truck guess what jamesy you're not a snotty kid anymore. We are very happy to be reunited with the sand pit. We are all sunscreened up. It's been hot here. It's been in like the high 80s, low 90s all week. Um, but I am just here with James. We decided to come out early. Teddy stayed home with Peter um, so that James could have like one-on-one -on -one play time at the park now that he's feeling so much better. Um, and then we're going to go on our stroll nap. There's lots of toys in here today. The tough part about days like today is that the sun has been beating on the, the playground for so long that the slides are too hot. A lot of like the actual equipment is too hot. There's a decent amount of shade on this half. And so the sand is good. Some of the swings, um, but we can't like enjoy the whole park because like the equipment is so hot that we'd burn ourselves if we played on it. It's that hot. So Jamesy is asleep. I stopped by Jewel to get some uh, snacks for the beach tomorrow. That's our plan for early tomorrow before it gets too toasty. Um, but I forgot to mention that we actually pushed back James getting the second COVID vaccine. He was supposed to get the second like of his Pfizer like combination because he's finally feeling better and we just like knew that there was a risk of him having a fever not feeling great and James like you guys see him he's so happy so goofy and in Disney he was cutting teeth and then he got RSV and he's just like hasn't been himself and so it's been so nice he's been eating that's like the true sign that you know James is back or that he's off because he doesn't eat so he's been eating been so so happy so we didn't want to like stop that so he's getting it next week which is nice that there's like a big window for him to get it but that is still happening and we're very thankful we didn't get covid because that would have thrown off that whole timeline hey mama where are we at on this friday splash pad did we start the vlog today yeah. oh nice we're at that splash pad over on school street which is like sponsored by the Cubs. The one we came to a couple weeks ago and the splash pad wasn't on. Well, splash pad's on. Are you so ready? He doesn't even know it's gonna happen. He doesn't. There we
Hi. Hi. <laughs> you so cute. Hi. You look like such a big kid. Such a big summer kid. Whoa, James is in control up there. I just gave Teddy a quick snack in the AC of the car. And we're gonna go home, make dinner, get ready for the weekend. We are home, we're doing kind of a hybrid dinner. We had those tostadas the other day. So tonight we're gonna have just like the sides. I think I still have some of, I'm gonna make fresh black beans, um, but the pastina and just like the pico de gallo and other like fix-ins that we had. Um, we are gonna do corn tortillas tonight and I made the mushroom asada. Well, I like prepped it yesterday, actually. Um, I've cooked this a lot before. I didn't do step-by-step, -step, but I will link the um, recipe below. I actually used the right kind of mushrooms this time and it's crazy how much it actually looks like chicken. So I just have to sear that up now. It should all be quick and we should be eating soon. Quickly, I'll share with you with the black beans. I just dump a can of black beans in, lime juice, salt, cumin, oregano. That's what's in there. And then, like I said, just searing up these mushrooms, get them nice and crispy. The sauce is, like the sauce that it's in is so yummy. Um, and it's, the mushrooms soak it up so good. This is my favorite like veggie replacement for tacos, for sure. And then I'm also gonna make some coleslaw to top the tacos. So there's mayo and red wine vinegar. A little bit of lime juice. I'm gonna stir that up and see how the consistency is. That looks good. So I'm gonna add some cumin, some dried cilantro, and a little bit of garlic. This clip is gonna be out of order from the future, but I forgot to say you just mix it with a bag of pre-made coleslaw. <laughs> I guess you can make it yourself, but that's what I did. I heated up some tortillas in the oven at like 400 for five minutes or so. Now I'm gonna assemble. Alrighty, here they are all done up. They're pretty small, so I put some more tortillas in the oven to heat up. I put some beans on this one. There's our pasta. Commun communal beans. Is Jamesy happy? Very happy. Honestly, right now, most of our playing is trains. And I'm not complaining, I I love it. Also drawing. And this little friend is two months old today. Crazy. He is like 10 pounds, 10 ounces. And what else? I just feel like he's smiling so much and just like becoming his own little person. He sleeps so good. He actually naps in the bassinet. He's just like a rock star chill baby. He sometimes gets tummy troubles, but I feel like like since he's had RSV, that really hasn't been an issue. Weird. Yeah, our little Teddy. Two months old. Oh my gosh, and he's so tall. One, when we left for Florida, he would he could only fit in newborn clothes. Now when we got back from Florida, he's wearing zero to three. And even some of zero to three is like too stretched. So like his torso is so tall, it's not tight, but like it's like off the shoulder. This is a three month old outfit. I mean, I guess he's two months, but I just, he went from newborn to like zero to three as an even like, comfortable like it's just it's weird it's like stretched over his shoulders like I don't know if he's like broad shoulders I think it's I think he's tall like the onesie there's not enough material up and down Hi. Oh. but yeah super sweet obviously coos like crazy sorry if you can hear Toy Story it's like the climax race at the end um, or chase at the end he laughs in his sleep regularly like almost every time he's napping he'll laugh like belly laugh and he has left a few times while awake um 
but I think it's just like one of his like defining characters is like he's just so happy when he dreams. What are you dreaming about? Two months old. Holy smokes. I'm tired. We're getting ready for bed. We read some books. We're going to turn off the light here in a minute. He's just snuggling his teddy bear, which is actually his brother's teddy bear. What are you doing? Toes. I had my whole life to have a Friday night like this. I got my puppy, one of my babies. I got the ABD channel on with Sarah puts on Jameson. One of my best days in all of Disney World and all traveling the world and all my time. It's a night like this. That means everything. So, getting ready for bed, brushing my teeth, minding my own business, and it starts to rain. I'm like, huh, I knew it was supposed to rain. It might ruin our, like, early beach day tomorrow, but we'll wait and see. Then I was like, that doesn't sound quite like rain. And the reason why it didn't quite sound like rain is because it was hail. It started hailing before it started raining. Chicago for you, right? Well, now it's like actually storming out. You see the rain, lightning everywhere. Rain just melting the little bit of hail that came down. Wild. And uh, with that, I'll say it's uh, good to be home. Everybody's asleep right now. Eve's asleep, James is asleep, Sarah and Teddy are asleep on the couch. I'm kind of not tired, but it's a good time to go to bed because we have ideally in a very eventful day tomorrow and an early day. I'm just glad it's the weekend. I had a very busy, but not too busy work week. And I'm excited to just spend a lot of good time with Eve and with Teddy and with Jamesy and with Sarah. So it is good to be home. Chicago, Orlando. Chicago, Orlando. Walt Disney autograph. Name tags? The inner conflict is real. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>